Sophie Hope rears 10,000 pigs on her Gloucestershire farm each year, but due to a shortage of skilled butchers, pigs are backing up on farms across the West, costing more in food and accommodation. And if the animals can't go to slaughter and then butchered, farmers face a difficult decision. We're really hoping it never ever comes to this, but we have to plan for it in case, and it might be that a welfare cull has to take place if, if farmers run out of space. But that is the situation that some farmers are in, and they are desperate. I've seen the anguish on their faces and it's, it's bad. The National Pig Association estimates that 80% of skilled butchers in abattoirs are from Europe, but so many have left since Brexit and the pandemic that it's left a huge skills gap. The association is calling on the government to bring in short-term visas and put butchers on the shortage occupation list. There are also apprenticeship schemes and uh, companies working with the Department of Work and Pensions, uh, looking at people who, who are unemployed and maybe looking to retrain in other careers. So all of that is going on. It's just not yielding the amount of people that we need, which is why we need this quick injection of, of skilled labour coming from wherever we can find it. It's not just pigs, of course. Sophie also rears 81,000 broiler chickens each year, producing 12 million eggs. But in recent weeks, she's had to throw hundreds of thousands away to create a gap in the supply chain to ease the pressure. It's devastating, to be quite honest with you. Sleepless nights, wondering when it's going to end. Uh, I mean, obviously, obviously, there's a vast financial impact to be had to the business, but it's also just demoralising and heartbreaking to see all of our hard work effectively being thrown in the bin. If the skill shortage isn't addressed soon, then the industry says that imports will have to increase to meet demand. As far as I'm concerned, the whole country loses on that basis. Uh, our agriculture loses, um, sort of our industries loses, our jobs are exported, uh, and our whole GDP uh, is, is put under pressure because we're importing more than we're exporting. DEFRA told me today that it is keeping the market under review in the face of the current pressures and that ministers were working closely with the industry. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West.